Hello everyone, Erica here. Welcome back to Independent Parenting, where I share tips and resources to make life as an independent parent a whole lot smoother. I hope you guys are doing absolutely wonderful today. Now, it's possible that some of you may not, <laughs> because you may be experiencing a sense of being overwhelmed lately. And as a result, your living space may reflect that feeling. Clothes may be thrown around the home, your room and kids room may be untidy, and dishes may be piling up in the sink for days. I totally get it. Trust me, I've been there. Cleaning whenever you feel unmotivated as a single parent can be a real challenge. So I truly understand your frustration. It can be difficult to gather up the energy to clean when you just don't feel up to it. But in today's video, I hope to inspire you to begin cleaning and organizing with a few tips that I hope will help. So let's get started. My first piece of advice for you would be to divide your cleaning task into smaller, more manageable parts. Tackle one area at a time rather than trying to clean the entire house at once. Trust me, you will want to do this in order to not go insane like this guy right here. <laughs> Whenever you overcommit to a large task, the odds of you finishing are slim and more than likely you will want to just give up. At least that's how I feel. Now, the next thing you want to do is prioritize high impact areas. Focus on areas that have the most impact on your daily life, like the kitchen, living room, bedrooms, and bathrooms. A tidy space in these areas can improve your overall mood. And that is what you want to happen, guys. <laughs> so now that you have prioritized delegated areas, it's time to get everyone in the house involved to help. That's right, involve those kids. Assign age-appropriate tasks and make it a fun game if you have to because you know our kids don't like cleaning. This way you won't have to deal with the unpleasant expressions that kids make when they don't want to clean up and the kids also won't get caught with the shoe thrown at them for accidentally muttering something under their breath when they thought you weren't listening. So guys, has that ever happened to you? <laughs> your kids are looking you straight in your eye and agreeing to what you're saying, but as soon as you turn around or either, or either they turn around, they're saying something under their breath or you might catch them rolling their eyes. And God forbid if you do that, we just, uh, we pity the kids that do that actually, <laughs> because it may end up with, kids going to the hospital we, we don't want to have to res resort to those type of um extremities but um yeah dude, let's just let's just make sure we make it fun for the kids <laughs> so we don't have to jack up any kids so you guys we know the kids don't like cleaning so go ahead let's, let's just make it fun for them so now that everyone's all on board with cleaning, it's time for you to get your favorite playlist out and listen to some music while you clean. This is my all-time favorite because guys, I love music. And I can't tell you how many times as a child I had to be awakened with music to plan as a way to get me and my siblings up on Saturday mornings and prepare to clean the entire house. Whew, those days was crucial. <laughs> but I have to admit that even though I couldn't stand getting out of bed, I did enjoy the music. It helped create a more pleasant atmosphere and make the task feel less of a grueling job. Uh, my mom and dad actually did a great job uh, with making it fun for us and making the household fun because there were many times where I would see my mom and dad dancing in the kitchen. My dad will pop my mom on the butt. She'll back it up a little bit. You know, somebody will bust out with the electric slide. It was just the whole thing. So Saturday mornings was pretty cool. Next up, guys, it's best to declutter by getting rid of any unnecessary items. This will make cleaning and organizing much easier. Oh, this is uh, another favorite of mine as well. You know, just avoid cleaning or organizing things that you know you won't keep, right? It's more efficient to just remove old clothes, uh, old toys, and furniture before starting the cleaning process. And if you're interested in redecorating and looking for free furniture, check out my ebook called Shop Like a Master for some helpful tips. I will leave the link in the description below. Now, my next tip for you guys would be to use the right cleaning products. You will want to find cleaning products that are both enjoyable and safe to use. This is very important, guys, especially for you out there who are very sensitive to harsh chemicals. And personally, I am very sensitive to harsh chemicals and strong fragrances. So I have to be very careful with the products that I use at home as they just have awful side effects for me. And I really enjoy actually the scent of clean linen. So I prefer lighter perfumes, but they can't be too overwhelming 
or like I mentioned, you know, I'll just have unpleasant symptoms, uh, things like swollen eyes, stuffy nose, itchy throat. And oh my God, the worst headache of all is just a severe headache that just keeps pounding away. It, it's a mess. And I just try to avoid any type of heavy scents as much as possible inside my home. So that's why investing in cleaning products that are safe to use and have tolerable scents is very important. And if you're interested, I do have some recommendations for cleaning products that you can check out in the description area below. All right, so my next suggestion is to set aside time for self-care. <sighs> now guys, you know I had to try my best to put self-care, put a self-care tip in one of my videos. <laughs> Actually, I do try to do that in most of my videos because I am an advocate of self-care and I know how crucial it is for you to have self-care just as a human being, but as an independent parent, it's, it's oh my God, it's imperative to have self-care. You, you have to make yourself a priority. I have said it on so many videos and I will continue to say it over and over again as a reminder to you guys who have not provided yourself with self-care, you need to do so because a lot of times whenever you don't do that, we feel unmotivated, right? As people, if we're feeling unmotivated about something or we're letting ourselves go, so to speak, or we're letting the house go, usually it's because we haven't really put in enough to ourselves. You know, we haven't invested in our well being enough, in, the, in other words. So, self care is very important. And, you know, hello, as a single parent, look at this lady right here. She has twins. Oh my goodness. Neglecting your own self care is common right? It's common, which can lead to burnout, irritability, and a lack of motivation. We want to take care of our kids so much to the point where we just forget about ourselves and we don't care about taking care of ourselves. We got to do better. And it's important to prioritize taking care of yourself to maintain your physical and mental well-being. By doing so, you'll be in a better state of mind and more likely to be inspired to make the time to set a routine for getting things done in a timely manner. Which brings me to my final tip set a routine. Ooh, I know this is probably a lot for you to swallow <laughs> for anyone out there who is not used to setting a routine. Um, you're very impulsive with your thinking and you just, you know, do things off the rip. So maybe you're just not used to being in a routine, but I would definitely recommend to set a routine. It will help you to be accountable for things that you have to do. It will help you to become more disciplined so that you can Prove to yourself that you are able to get in the habit of doing something so that you don't later have to do more than what you would have initially had done if you would have first set a routine. So, you know, I do understand, you know, it's okay to have off days. We all have them, but establishing a consistent cleaning schedule can prevent tasks from accumulating, making them less overwhelming as what I was saying earlier. So go ahead, guys, set a routine, please. <laughs> And I know it can be tempting to just throw things to the side whenever you don't feel motivated to clean, but try your best to practice these tips so that your mood is lifted and it will save you time in the long run. It really will. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. I just wanted to give you a few quick tips because I just felt like the universe was telling me that somebody out there is feeling overwhelmed. So I had to make this video for you guys and I hope it was helpful. Come back for more tips to help you. With... Sorry. Come back for more tips to help with your independent parenting journey. Take care, guys. Bye.